Have you ever seen a prize and the first thought that popped up in your mind was, I love this prize and I don't know why. <laughs> Today we will look into what drives your love for a specific prize that works almost hypnotically, at least subconsciously. <laughs> Let us find out. Research shows that people like to be reminded on something pleasant and usually they like themselves. So they like to be reminded on themselves. And what happens now? They attribute this positive feeling of being reminded on themselves on the subjects and objects that remind them. And therefore, people like to be reminded on themselves and like the objects and subjects that remind them a bit more. <laughs> this effect is called implicit egotism. And believe it or not, implicit egotism has a tremendous impact on actual life decisions. Let's look at those that implicit egotism affects. The first decision that implicit egotism affects is the decision where to live. Researchers analyzed census data and they found that Mildreds are more likely to live in Milwaukee because both words start with the same letter. So Milwaukee reminds Mildred on her name and on herself and therefore Mildred chooses to live in Milwaukee. Virginia lives in Virginia Beach, Jack decides to live in Jacksonville and Philip decides to live in Philadelphia. Okay, you might wonder, hmm, maybe it's the other way around. Actually, Mildred was born in Milwaukee and Milwaukee made her parents think about a name that resembles Milwaukee and got triggered to name her baby after Milwaukee, so they gave the name Mildred. This could be kind of effect of reverse causality. However, the researchers confirmed these findings also with surnames and they ruled out the alternative explanation of naming kids after the city where they live. Okay, implicit egotism affects where to live. But what else? It also affects which profession to choose. Researchers found that people who names start with Den, like Dennis for males and Denise for females, they were more likely to become dentists because the profession of dentists remind them on themselves, so they attribute more positive feelings towards this profession and decide to become dentists. That's really, really crazy. It all works unconsciously, by the way. But what else? Maybe the most obvious one. Implicit egotism also helps you to decide who to marry. Researchers found that people are more likely to marry someone who shares the same letters of their surname, meaning reminding on themselves, they like to be reminded and they attribute these positive feelings to their counterpart and at the end they decide to marry. By the way, they remind each other. That's really, really funny. Okay, that's not only funny and super interesting, but why is that important for pricing? Researchers did a study and in the study they secretly got the birthday from the participants in the experiment. They asked for different dates and one of the dates was the birthday. There were a number of filler or fake tasks involved. So the participants didn't notice why they were asked for the birthday. Then the participants saw a pasta dinner advertisement that would come with additional sales tax. And in the US you need to know that the prices are usually without sales taxes so that any kind of odd prices are not suspicious when customers see them. So we know the birthday, there was a pasta dinner advertisement and what happened then? The researchers took the birthday date and put it into the price. So the birthday date, like 16th of April, the 16th, became the decimals in the price. And they randomly assigned 
participants to either a birthday number matching prize or not to a birthday number matching prize. The researchers found that participants had a greater purchase intention of buying this pasta dinner voucher when the price matched their birthday. And therefore, this effect is called the birthday number effect in pricing. The price reminds the customer on themselves. They like the object that reminds them. Implicit egotism at full play. And therefore, they like the price a bit more. Therefore, they are more likely to buy this product. What does it mean for us? As a retailer, you could use the birthday dates in your database to send out individualized promotions. So you individualize by a curated set of items. And for this curated set of items, you could change the price to the birthday date. Maybe in the decimals or in the digits. Let's see what works. Or you could use the birthday date to send out a specific promotional discount. So if somebody is born on April 16th, you might give out a discount of 16%. Customers might recognize unconsciously <laughs> their birthday, they like the promotion and they might convert better. As a customer, you should become suspicious if all of a sudden somebody asks you <laughs> to give your birthday. I hope I can leave you with a spark of inspiration today. And if you seek more inspiration on pricing or psychological pricing, join me at pricingnuggets.com. I see you there.